Hey everyone, my name is Tanya. I'm a beauty and lifestyle YouTuber. I make videos from Lagos, Nigeria. If this is your first time here, it's a pleasure to have you here. Please hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out my other videos so you can catch up and join the family. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. Yo, it's good to have you back. Also, hit the notification bell right here. And let's get started. to be doing a q and a i have been meaning to do this for the longest time i don't know why i've just been pushing it backward but i asked you guys on my instagram if you don't follow me on instagram you should totally 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 check me out <laughs> my handle will be up here ask you guys on instagram to ask me some questions you guys went in and i'm here to answer your questions without wasting much of your time let's get right into this video if you find me looking down that's because i wrote the questions in a book so i can just read out as you know i'm filming with my phone so i cannot get the questions out of my phone except i write it down let's begin okay first question is are you a morning person or a night owl i would say i am like 40 percent morning 60 percent night right because a little bit of both because but mostly nights because i like doing stuff at night i like working at night anything you could just think of i like doing things at night so i think i'm more of a night owl but that doesn't mean that i cannot function in the morning no i am not named after anybody i am me and i am unique <laughs> is how are you i am fine as you can see i am fine 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 <laughs> i'm fine thank you for asking amazing thank you very much thank you very very much for that compliment we work hard after a breakup would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends um I think it depends on the kind of friends that you have if for me I think I'd rather be alone I just like I just like my space I think I'd rather be alone if it's a very unhealthy breakup I think you should be surrounded by friends and who who the friends who understand you and who can comfort you through whatever it is that you're going at that period at that point in time so i definitely think that you should be surrounded by friends oh yeah they says do you love me <laughs> this guy is not right this one's for my friend do you love me kiki do you love me are you riding i love you baby girl Up until the time when I lost my granddad, they were still married. Both grandparents were still married. This person says, can you close your eyes and raise your brows? Let's try that. That was difficult and weird. I think I did it. <laughs> Do you know a hoarder? um as of now i don't think so <laughs> i don't think i know anybody who wants stuff hmm do i have to pick though do i have to pick mm. okay if i were to pick i'll take i'll take kissing yeah have you ever had to wear a uniform from school hello are you from nigeria <laughs> If you went to high school or secondary school in Nigeria, we wore uniforms. You had to wear uniforms and you are lucky if your uniform is pretty because most uniforms back then were horrible. Have you ever gone into a room and forgotten why? Yes, 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 I definitely have. No shit, this happens to me all most of the time because I want to do something or I just enter into a room and I'm I went with the mind of picking something or doing something in there and I just forget so I think everyone everyone has experienced this somehow do you have any tattoos 
no i don't i don't i don't <laughs> i don't have any tattoos anywhere okay this one says have you done cosmetic surgery no i have not do you have a best friend no i don't as of now i don't have a best friend do you prefer tampons menstrual cups or pads tough choice first let me just say that if you use menstrual cups please just comment down below because i feel like that thing is so hard then again i like tampons but then it's so uncomfortable sometimes especially if you don't get your size so it's just like mm, mm, mm. i mean between pads and tampons but i do not like menstrual cups i don't think i like the idea but maybe sometime in the future i will be open to try it out but as of now no see the key to this thing is that everybody is doing well on instagram oh well almost everybody so i feel like if you are going to pressure yourself see it's not easy it's easier said than done but i feel like you should um sometimes turn a blind eye to certain things that you see it's okay to have like good pressure something that pressures you to do better but if you get to a point where it takes over your mind makes you feel less of yourself just makes you feel inferior or, or as if you're not doing well meanwhile you're putting in the work then i feel like that's not okay if you have to unfollow some pages you unfollow the pages if you have to you have to just turn the blind at certain things because some people come on instagram and they put on a show honestly you are told me you're doing better than them but stop comparing yourself with things that you see online to the point where it gets the better part of you and you feel like you're not doing okay so for me tip is it's always good to take breaks i take i take breaks now if i feel like everything is just so overwhelming i take breaks i take a few days off and i do other things that i love i just take the time out to refresh you know when you refresh when you come back you feel better and your head is like oh i'm ready to work i'm ready to do this and do that and also stop strolling around instagram some people stroll around in a day they is like you literally if you are trekking you've trekked trek from Odreleba to cms in one day stop it i am proudly gemini that's my zodiac sign gemini where have you been girl i've been around i've been around around the world <laughs> i've been around but thank you thank you so much for asking my touch says no question i love you i love you too my baby girl you have any hidden piercings no i only have one and that is for my earrings here i only have one piercing i have to live in the world of the last drama you watched where would you believe in? I would believe in, in Cell City. That is where I would believe in right now. If I if we were to if we were to go by the last drama that I watched, I'll believe in, in Seoul. Yeah. Okay. How do you handle singleness? This is a whole broad topic on its own. It's a very broad topic on its own. How do you handle singleness and being alone. So first things first, you have to get used to your company you have to be okay with yourself you have to love yourself you have to just be fine with being with yourself now if there's something attractive about someone that loves their self someone that loves their self does that make sense is that english correct you guys know what i mean if you are not comfortable being alone and you keep rushing into relationships or rushing and dating people there's still that sort of void that you still want to feel there's that contentment in being yourself and being happy constantly working to get your goals constantly working to achieve something to get better to be a better version of yourself and that by the time this person by the time you're the person you want to date comes around you guys hit something you hit it off so there's nothing as there's nothing as pitiful as staying in one place and waiting for a guy or waiting for someone to date you 
and you are not improving that is that is very wrong whatever stage you are in life you should always try to improve on yourself love yourself and just be happy and free surround yourself with loving people and that is the way i handle singleness i'm not a pet person but my grandma used to have a cat and i used to like that cat but i don't like touching it but it was so cute but if i were to choose i'll probably choose a cat but then i'm not a pet person at all i think i've said this before in my last get to know me video if you're betrayed by a friend would you still be friends with that person that depends what kind of betrayal are we talking about is it betrayal of food betrayal of uh okay i think let's be serious i think um that depends on the level of love you have for this person and has this person done this before the person constantly betrayed you in smaller portions before and then you get to a point where you be like oh i can't take it anymore then you should do away with such person in your life you don't deserve to they don't deserve you but if it's something that you can forgive and look past and the person never does that again yeah sure you just forgive and let's go and let that is my take on this question I hope I was able to answer you. Um, Star Pinnacle styled me and she put my outfits together to get that stunning, amazing look. So I'm going to leave a handle here. Please do follow her when you see. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching this video to the end. If you made it to the end, thank you. Thumbs up to you. You are a sweetheart. Okay? 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 Please be sure to check out my other videos and if you haven't subscribed, if you haven't yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button here and hit the notification bell close to it right here. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in my next video.